back. And you're looking at an unconventional route. Yeah, I wouldn't say most people would be looking at this one. He says I'm crazy. <laughs> the crazy man says you're crazy. And what? Wow. Was that the best one you've thrown yet? Yes. That is so good. 270 straight up, straight down. Yeah, there is an aggressive play going high hyzer flip or a grenade here from Kev. Not even, not even close? No, no, not even close. It was perfect. Come on. And he didn't hit anything like that. And he let's let's take a look at this grenade actually gone a little bit long but just so you folks at home see what he's doing he's holding it upside down he does what's called the claw grip where it's situated between his pointer finger and his middle finger and he's essentially throwing just straight up in the air kind of tilting his spine over and rotating upwards looking to turn it over not to drift directly at the basket per se as kevin what are you doing oh wow. boy <laughs> okay kev i'm not sure yeah that might be might be bunker to those trees guarding him yeah, yeah. it's bunkered mm -hmm. good distance yeah but call to three. Oh, this guy just oh, look at this what's up i'm just gonna go look up there this guy's breaking the game. I mean, it's, the result wasn't perfect, but I mean, this guy's looking for opportunities to go over the top of the trees every time he can. Definitely going to be pretty, but... Yeah, that's a little more fun to throw, I think. Um, but just from the shape of the hole, it just seems to be a little better, that soft side arm. Yeah, Ben's line is pretty textbook for what the hole's shaped up for. Looks like we're going for another grenade here from Kevin. Yeah, remember, this is not a triple mando. Oh, let's go, <laughs> Come on! I gotta show you another, another grenade here from Kevin. Just soak it in for all of you trying to figure this out. You, again, see he uses that claw grip. I have seen players just hold a backhand and then flip the disc upside down with their thumb underneath. That also suffices. But he, it looks so easy when he's doing it. And Kevin, Get ready for a oh, show. Oh, boy. Grenade. I think it's just a hyzer. Maybe it was a grenade. I, that looked grenadey to me. Oh, my goodness. Come on. <laughs> How is that the shot? I don't think it is. I think he just <laughs> made that up. He was laughing about it. I told him after he did it, I said, 10 cool points to you, Kevin. And he said, he was laughing. He's like, I, I know it's probably a bad idea, but every time I tried it, I just kept parking it. And Kevin's going to try something a little different here. Whoa. A grenade, but he didn't throw the grenade with his thumb inside the rim. He threw it with his index finger inside the rim, which I've yeah. never seen that technique thrown before. <laughs> He's... Is he six down? After yeah. that, he will be. Or no, he'll be seven. He'll be seven down if he makes yeah. that. Good shot, dude. That's awesome. And there's the grenade. Light. And wow, that is a very... That's a huge effort to go grenade, probably 330 feet out from the pin. This guy's quiver is just full of shots. <laughs> yes. Oh, circle, though. Mm -hmm. You're loving the gap. Oh, oh wow. I forgot about what this. What is up there? Uh, okay, a par, I guess. Right. It's for Eric's forehand. Yeah, like Calvin's was like filet mignon. <laughs> and this dude doing? He's just like, <laughs> He just keeps ending up in the bushes though. Is that is that 